Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Pivotal Inquisition. So let's have a look on the most important physics question. It's not only my favorite, but important from examiner's point of view as well. So let's have a look on the question. A symmetric biconvex lens of radius of curvature R is made up of a reflective index 1.5 is being placed on the top of a layer of a plane mirror as shown in the figure. The distance of a needle of a lens is measured to be as an x. On removing the liquid of a layer, the repeating the experiment is found to be y. Obtain the expression of a reflective index of a liquid in terms of x and y. So what we need to emphasize is that reflective index of a liquid in terms of x and y that we need to find out. So if we try to divide this question into two cases, case 1 when the liquid is being placed between a convex lens and a plane mirror and case 2 when a liquid is being removed and the same experiment is being performed as it was being performed in case 1. So, so what we need to find out that we need to find out mu l. Mu l means the reflective index of liquid in terms of x and y we know that we need to find the reflective index but it isn't it must be in terms of x and y so we know that if we need to find a relation between mu and f we have to lose the lens formula it is very quite simple that we already know but in this question we if we try to look at the lens maker formula in this question neither we are giving the f the value of fl or no we are giving the value of r1 and r2 so what we need to find out first we need to find out we go we will go on step by step first of all we will find out the value of 1 by fl and then we will go towards the radius of curvature so if we try to find out the value of fl uh, that is the focal length of a lens when a liquid is being placed so as the question itself says that f is defined as the focal length of the combination here the combination signifies a convex lens along with the plane mirror which indirectly form a plano convex lens if we can i can see that your new people can also see that this is a plano convex lens which is being acting as a image as a main part in this question so what we do we need to find out the value of focal length combination focal length here the combination means the the liquid but means the plane mirror along with the convex lens which forms a plano convex lens so 1 by f is equal to 1 by fg plus 1 by fl as the formula itself says which the combination formula itself says 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 here the value of fg is given to be as y which is already given in the question and the value of f L we need to find out and f here is already been given as x that is this has been given in the question so if we try to simplify it we get the value of 1 by fl on moving further what we need to find out we need to find out the value of r1 which is being considered to be as extremely important and that comes over here here what we say since we need to find out the value of uh, r and r1 and r2 we already know that this is a biconvex lens and equiconvex lens biconvex and equiconvex lens means the same thing that r1 will be r and r2 will be minus r as it is an equiconvex lens so in step 2 we have to find out the value of fc by using the lens maker formula that is 1 by fc is equal to mu g minus 1 1 by r1 minus 1 by mu g the value of reflective is 1.5 we already do moreover it is also been given in the question as well so by simplifying it we get uh, f of c that is the focal length of a lens is equal to not a lens but a glass is equal to r which is further equal to y because fc is equal to y which is already be given in the equation now what we need to find out is the value of 1 by fl though we need to find to we need to find out the value of mu l where it, which can only be found out when we are given with r1 r2 and mu l r1 here it is being acting as a focal length a radius of curvature of a plane can plane plane mirror which is infinity we already know and if we try to make the focal radius of curvature of a concave lens where here in this case which has been acting as a convex lens is r so 1 by infinity is equal to minus 1 by r if we try to simplify all one one thing which we need to point out is we already have found out the value of 1 by f1 that is a, a, y minus x upon xy if we try to put the value of over here everything will be cancel out and we get the value of mu is 2x minus y by x so this was our complete question you people can have a look you people can pause the video to know it down and let's have a proper look uh, if you people want to 
note it down you can note it down or you people can take the screenshot and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and share it with your people so that you will not miss any notification so do subscribe my channel power pivotal inquisition so all the best for your next question let's meet the next question bye guys thank you